When most people picture story time with your kid, it usually involves a cozy armchair before bedtime. But last October, the Sulaco Public Library hosted something a little unconventional, a story walk. Well, the, the story walk is an idea that originated with Anne Ferguson. She is a librarian from Vermont. So that's how I first heard about it. And I emailed her and she was awesome. Sent me all her stuff, gave me some inspiration. And essentially a story walk is a story in a community where people walk from page to page to, to read an entire book. So most often it's a, it's a children's book, it's an illustrated book. We did the first walk in 2012 for the Blueberry Festival and we got the rights from the publisher to use their book, which is a, a, an essential part of the process. And we did it again in 2013 and we decided to do something big for Ontario Public Libraries Week. So we thought, well, there's a local publishing company here in town with lots of talented artists and writers, so why not go with, uh, you know, go local? So for this story walk, we partnered with uh, QHUN Education Resource Center to develop this year's story walk. So we went with a local, a local artist, uh, Glenn Kiesick, and a local writer, Lawrence Hay. Thought that made for a nice combination. And we pitched the idea to, to Kirk. And within about an hour, they, had, they were in the library loving the idea, bringing us ideas, um, posters, books. So. They were amazing right from the get-go. They paid for the project, they printed the pages, which were on gigantic, glossy, weatherproof pages. So it was pretty amazing to have, to have them do that. So we were happy to promote a local publisher and local artists, and they were happy to see a project like that take off. A Nelson Maku, Koyachiwin's ARP coordinator, explains the importance of partnering with other organizations within Sulaco. When we uh, work with li the library on the story walk that they were doing, it, it helped us as, the, as an organization to be seen uh, in cooperating with the, uh, the, all of the uh, organizations and institutes in the Silicon area. And it also opened the doors for people to understand what the uh, organization is about. And when we uh, did the uh, story on uh, the Crafty Fox, it was a really, it was really well uh, received and it became uh, that people began to uh, uh, understand that we not only develop books, but we also sell to the public or any other schools or organizations down south, but all around the area too. So this um, book was very uh, instrumental in getting us the recognition as an organization that developed, that de delivers the education programs, resources and materials that can be used or adapted by any school and also parents that are that want to buy the uh, books from the, for the children. The Story Walk is in its third year and continues to remain successful. So we, we had a, an amazing response from the public, as we did with the past two Story Walks. So the schools were, were on board, so we had seven class visits. Most of them were an older group, like say a grade eight paired with a, a younger group. So you had your Reading Buddies program, so you had the older kids taking the younger ones under their wing and taking them around town. So we had a story walk route that was given to all people so they could follow the route, learn a bit more about the story walk itself and our partners. And other than that, we had people give their comments back in. So 
judging by that, we would think about maybe four or five hundred people went on the story walk in total, including the classes and parents and kids and grandparents and people of all ages. Mike believes the Sioux Lookout Public Library met its goal set out for the story walk. I think the overall mission is to get people excited about reading and to perhaps look at reading in a different way and seeing reading as something that you you do with other people and I think on that level I think it was a, a big success and some of the other goals were to promote a local publisher and to make people aware that people are producing books right here in Sulicout and I think on that level we succeeded and yeah you basically just to get people excited about about books about reading. Nelson explains what Koyachiwin is currently working on. At present there is so much happening with the organization and the first one is the language programming and immersion. Kindergarten grade one and grade two are being developed and hopefully to be implemented by August uh, um, September of 2016 for the school year which we will uh, do a workshop on in August and we're also developing an iPad app, a language app in OG Cree, which non-speakers can use. So if your child is a non-speaker and wants to learn about OG or OG Cree, we uh, would recommend that uh, this iPad app to be used. And also we want to share it to the First Nation schools that each child in this classroom can use it to um, learn about the language and understand how to use the language and kind of retain the language eventually some, sometime in the future. Mike Laverty was quick to note his plans for the future. Yes, definitely. So we, we certainly want to do the story walk again. Some of the comments we got from the people who went in the story walk were, you know, we love the idea. Maybe can you do a nature hike? Can you do something out at Cedar Bay? So I think that's probably our number one idea. We'd like to approach Cedar Bay and get some volunteers and maybe do a, a story walk down the trail. Maybe getting kids doing like a scavenger hunt, looking for, you know, animals, plant life, trees, birds, that kind of thing. So I'd be looking for um, a very outdoorsy nature kind of theme book, much like with a Crafty Fox, but getting kids outside, excited about nature, and learning about the animals and plants of, of this area. For more information on library events like the Story Walk, visit our website at slpl.om.ca. For information regarding Koyachiwin's projects, books, and other resources, visit koyachiwin.com. This has been a Sulagout Public Library video production.